what's up everyone welcome to my channel in this video you will learn how efficiency of different components in drive line affects the power and final torque on wheel so without spending much time let's start now before understanding efficiency let's understand different components involved in drive line the first component is engine it is a power source in drive line the output from the engine is engine torque te at an associated engine speed omega e second is the clutch it connects and disconnects the engine to the rest of the drive line when the vehicle is equipped with a manual gearbox third is the gearbox it is used to change the transmission ratio between engine and drive wheels fourth is the propeller shaft it connects the gearbox to differential the propeller shaft does not exist in front engine front wheel drive and in rear engine rear wheel drive vehicles in those vehicles the differential is integrated with the gearbox in a unit that is called transaxle fifth is the differential it is the constant transmission ratio gearbox it allows the drive wheels to have different speeds so they can handle a car in a curve sixth is the drive shaft it connect the differential to the drive wheels last is the drive wheels it transform the engine torque to traction force on the road the efficiency of drive train has significant impact on overall efficiency of the vehicle higher the efficiency of drive train lower the fuel consumption of vehicle first we are taking gearbox efficiency so basically the gearbox efficiency depends upon gear meshing and efficiency of bearings efficiency of gearbox is given by efficiency of bearing to the power number of bearings multiplied by efficiency of gear meshing to the power number of meshing existing in the gearbox the efficiency of ball bearing is around 0.99 and the efficiency of bevel gears in meshing is around 0.96 as you can see in figure we are having four bearings two on output shaft and two on input shaft and one meshing between two bevel gears so the efficiency of this gearbox is given by 0.99 to the power 4 multiplied by 0.96 to the power 1 which gives us the gearbox efficiency of 0.956 now let's see the efficiency of propeller shaft the efficiency of propeller shaft depends upon the efficiency of universal joints and the bearing efficiency so the efficiency of propeller shaft is given by efficiency of bearing to the power number of bearing multiplied by efficiency of universal joint to the power number of universal joints now let's see the differential efficiency if the vehicle is driving on straight line only the final gears and the bearings are adding power losses the differential efficiency mainly depends upon the meshing of bevel gears and the bearing efficiency so the differential efficiency is given by efficiency of bearing to the power number of bearing multiplied by efficiency of gear meshing as you can see we have considered only one gear meshing efficiency this is due to the reason that when the vehicle is driving on straight line only the final gear and the bearings are adding power losses so that's why we have considered the efficiency of gear meshing to the power 1 the next is the drive shaft the efficiency of drive shaft generally depends upon the cv joints so the efficiency of drive shaft is given by the efficiency of tripod joints multiplied by the efficiency of r zipper joints from all these components of drive line we get the overall efficiency of the drive train which is the efficiency of drive train is equals to the efficiency of gearbox multiplied by the efficiency of propeller shaft multiplied by efficiency of differential multiplied by efficiency of drive shaft as you all know that efficiency is given by power output divided by power input so the power output that is power on wheels is given by efficiency of drive train multiplied by power by engine that is pe now let's see what happens to torque at p in the figure you can see that the forward velocity v is given by rw that is the wheel radius multiplied by omega w that is the wheel angular velocity as you all know gear ratio is given by omega e divided by omega w where omega e is from engine and omega w is from wheel in the drive train we are having two components with gears the one is the gearbox another is the differential so the overall gear ratio is given by ng multiplied by nd where ng is the gearbox ratio and nd is the differential ratio from here we can write omega w equals to omega e divided by ng multiplied by nd as you all know torque on wheels is given by power divided by omega so we get the final torque on wheels as efficiency of drive train multiplied by ng multiplied by nd multiplied by pe divided by omega e so this is the value of torque at wheels this much for this video thanks for watching 
If you have any queries regarding the video, you can comment in the comment box. Do like the video. If you find the video useful, do share it. Also, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and softwares, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.